Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Robert Richard and I'm here with Dr. Eric Velasquez and we are the surgeons for the Center for Weight Management at the Long Street Clinic. And we're here to answer some of the uh, frequently asked questions that we get about surgery today. One of the frequent questions that I get when my patients are coming to see us uh, is what are the benefits of choosing surgery as my weight loss option? Well, first, when I'm answering that question is that surgery is the most effective weight loss option that we have. There are a lot of different options in surgery. There's many different procedures and the success with the different procedures is varied. But when we compare weight loss surgery to medical weight loss, it is hands down the most effective treatment option for, bariatric, for, for a, a patient who has a, a weight issue. So if you've got 100 pounds to lose, you certainly can try our medical weight loss option and there are a lot of new options on the market. However, bariatric surgery is still the most effective treatment for obesity. And one of the things that I add to that is also they, they accumulate a lot of comorbidities, a lot of diseases that come hand to hand with obesity. And a lot of the weight loss options actually help those diseases to go away. The patients, in other words, will get cured from those conditions by having surgery. And we do have a number of procedures. So we have the sleeve gastrectomy, we have a gastric bypass, we have a procedure called the duodenal switch. We also have some endoscopic options such as intragastric balloons. So it's real exciting to be in bariatric surgery around this at this time. You know, 20 years ago, we just had one operation. Today, we are much more prepared to manage patients for the long term. So it is real exciting at this point to be in this field. Another question that I often get is, how long does it take before I can have surgery? Do you get that question a lot? Absolutely, that's a very frequent one. And I can say that it varies. It, it depends in, in a lot of different factors. Uh, sometimes it's linked to the insurance. Sometimes insurances have policies that will uh, dictate what amount of time the patient have to be in the program. Other times it's related to the patient's comorbid conditions, meaning if the patients have a lot of diseases and these diseases have to be worked up, it may take some time. So those patients will take longer than someone with no diseases and no policy that requires time. You need to realize that this operation or these operations are elective. And our goal is to do as safe and elective procedure as possible. So our goal when we see that new patient is to make sure they're as prepared as possible for surgery. Meaning we wanna make sure that all of their comorbid conditions are very well managed so that we can do a safe operation. This is a great segue into the next question. So one question I get a lot is, what are the complications associated with these surgeries? Well, the good news is, is that our complication rate today for bariatric surgery is some of the lowest in the hospital. We do everything to track complications and they're the lowest possible at this point. Bowel obstructions, bleeding, um, infections, they can happen, but we're talking for many of these complications, less than 1%. So on average, about 96 to 97% of patients have weight loss surgery and they go home with no complications. It's a far cry from what we had 20 years ago. And I tell you today, we're still getting better with improvements in our laparoscopic techniques with the new advent of robotic techniques. So bariatric surgery is one of the safest procedures that you can imagine, that we can imagine as bariatric surgeons. Certainly safer than a lot of emergence procedures like gallbladder surgeries or appendectomies or colon resections. So that disastrous surgery that you used to hear about in the late 90s, that's not bariatric surgery today. One question that I often get is, can I ever eat normal again after weight loss surgery? Oh yes, that's a, that's a good one. So absolutely, patients are gonna be able to eat normal. We're just gonna have to redefine what is normal. So one of the things we do when patients come to consultation is discuss the way they eat. And we try to modify that pattern and try to uh, guide to a more balanced and healthy eating. That's the new normal. After surgery, there will be a special diet that patients will have to follow for several weeks, but we will get back to that new normal. And at that point, they're gonna be able to continue that. Our, our hope is that they continue that forever. Agree. I always tell patients that I see at a new patient visit that I don't have an operation that lets them eat the way they're currently eating and lose weight and keep it off. So there's gonna be some lifestyle changes that they have to develop. But those lifestyle changes don't have to feel like a punishment. Most patients really enjoy eating after surgery. It's just a very different type of eating. How about this one? How much time do I need to take off from work? So that time is getting shorter and shorter. 
Um, I recently had a patient that was a lawyer who was doing a deposition while she was still in the hospital, so she really didn't take any time off. But for the average patient, I'd say two weeks. If you can take that first week off where you're a little bit sore, the second week you might be a little bit fatigued. Two weeks is about average for most patients. It's, it's amazing how things have changed. Like back in the day when these procedures were used to be done open, patients would stay for weeks in the hospital before they can be discharged. Now they go home the day after surgery, sometimes the same day. Well, thank you guys for listening to, to this video. I hope it was informative. Eric, thank you for being here. Thank you. And if you're watching this on social media, please feel free to comment. If you like this pattern of us answering questions, please feel free to write up more questions and send it our way and we'll be happy to answer them.